What's the minimum amount of money that could solve 90 of all your problems right now? About 25k would do it. Get rid of car payment, pay off medical credit card debts, and get down to just my mortgage and utilities and I'd be living the life. Could quit a job that, honestly pays pretty well, but keeps me away from home 90 of the time, meaning I'm missing my kids growing up, I'd take a huge pay cut to work near home since nothing around here pays good at all. But without all those extra bills I have to pay on each month I could afford to have a lower paying job, and wouldn't have to sacrifice being there for my kids. With $100,000 we could pay off the mortgage and all other debts. This would be life changing for us as I've had to leave the workforce early due to my health. It would allow me the freedom to take care of myself. It would also relieve a ton of stress for my spouse who has had to step up and do almost everything. If student loans were fully forgiven, we could do it on $60,000. The good part is that in a few years with hard work we should have all of that paid off, mortgage included. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Like $500 TBH. This year's been hard with being unemployed for a few months expensive vet visits and inevitable euthanasia bills for our late cat and I'm finding myself just a month or so behind on everything and I'm struggling to catch up because of it. I'm re-employed now and if I could just have a fresh start on all my bills I'd be able to retain and save easier. My bills aren't really the problem not being able to pay them or being behind on them is $2,500 so I can pay off my credit card bill. I'm paycheck to paycheck right now and had a couple unexpected expenses but necessary expenses that resulted in me maxing out my credit card. Paying it off will be a load off my shoulders. I also have a ton of student loans but I'm only a handful of months away from a much better job which will alleviate a lot of stress. The interim time will be so much easier without the credit card bill. Probably 150k. That would pay off my credit card, student loan, and give me savings for a couple major house health emergencies, along with 6 months of living expenses. It wouldn't pay off my house, buy me a new car, or contribute to retirement, but it would free up a lot of the financial stressors I have so I could then funnel my income into the house and investments. I consider those the remaining 10. Honestly, there really isn't an amount of money that could solve my problems right now. I've lived through times where money was a problem. But right now isn't one of those times. My biggest problem is I hope my son finds a girl and gets to start a family. He is autism and that makes it hard for him. Any girls that would be found by his family having money, however, probably aren't the right girls. I have a crooked contractor that put a lien on my house for work he didn't do, so $25,000 to complete the work he should have done. $10,000 to carry the unsecured loan for a few more months cause you can't get a mortgage with a lien on the house, and $10,000 to hire lawyers and value surveyors to fight the lien, so around $45,000 total, 90 would be $40,500. I wish, so much stress right now. Well my main issues stem from student debt and medical debt so my quickest guess would be between $750,000 $1.5 mil to take care of all my issues for a bit. That should give me enough for all my debt then food shelter and meds for a few years if I'm smart. I could be way off though as I'd get the specific totals anymore and med costs vary wildly with without insurance. $50,000. It would take care of my remaining student loans, fix my HVAC, and install my water softener. But most importantly, it would just give me peace of mind to finally just breathe. Whatever is left over? I'd go on vacation with my wife for the first time in 5 years. Anything left over? I finally get to give gifts to everyone I love for Christmas. 50k. Of course if someone was handing out money then I'd also tack the remainder of my mortgage to that amount and say $200,000. Could you imagine? How much stress would be off your shoulders to live in a house without a mortgage? To own a safe vehicle that you didn't have to make payments on that took up one three of your take home pay? Sigh. Oh to dream. Zero dollars I'm disabled, retired and unemployed. Overall. I got fed today, had a dry place to sleep. Enough food for the cat. Spent 50 years of my life believing money would solve it. Now, I just live on what comes along. Once you realize you have enough, you understand how much too much most of us actually have. One dollar ims? You can have it, I'm good. Two thousand five hundred dollars fix all car issues completely. Four hundred fifty dollars new tires. Two hundred dollars new bed and mattress. $1,000 all new wardrobe changed sizes, nothing fits anymore. Yeah, so around 6k would solve all immediate problems, but all long run problems like medical issues and therapy would probably be in the 100k region. 
That's lifestyle change kind of money. The most minimum of minimum, probably $25,000, would help me pay off a lot of med bills and get ahead on my home loan. $250,000 would probably solve all of my problems. Pays off all the bills, loans, and debts outright, allow me to sell my home and move. Not enough to retire, but enough to think hard about working 100 remotely. It's so insane that I can afford the mortgage payments but I would need almost $400,000 for a down payment. We have little debt, no kids and stable jobs. But we will rent forever in Vancouver unless we win the lottery. We want a child or two, but it would be irresponsible to do so under such financially tenuous circumstances. Something around 50 grand, hey that it's that much. But it's literal at that level where I'm trying to find the ASAP without taking a loan or going down a life of crime. 20 is CC, and 20 would be down a payment on house to get me out of the ghetto and 10 for a new vehicle since mine is about to die. $7,600 medical debt. $4,800 credit card debt. $82,000 to pay off the trailer in full. I don't know exactly how much. But maybe around $12,000 in repairs and upgrades for the trailer siding has some bad spots and the AC unit is from 1998 so it struggles. $106,600 total, so 90 of that is $95,940. About $500,000. Could wipe out my debt, enable me to buy a home, have a kid, and possibly start a business of my own. Ironically, this is probably the amount of money I'd be getting this year if my abusive father hadn't disinherited me for no other reason than he was a vindictive dick. Depends on how you define a problem. $15,000 for college is the only debt I have. I could use a new car, but mine works. I want my own home, but I can afford my apartment. $15,000 for my problems. 15k 36k new car 100k good down payment on a home $151,000 for my perceived problems $17,420 Pays off my remaining materials balance for a project for a regular client Once work is completed, a check is released to me for about $175,000 My wife, my 2 year old son and I can enjoy the birth of our daughter we are expecting in a couple of months without worrying about money. 50000 I have had to take out care credit credit cards to do my kids braces. I hate synchronicity bank. So since I have to pay an absorbent amount on them I had to get a loan etc. I hate where I am at. If I didn't have my credit cards and loan I would be cash only and very happy. However much would pay off enough of a $350,000 house with a $2,400 month mortgage payment down to around $1,500 a month. If I calculated it right, maybe $100 of $150k. It's just the largest monthly expense right now that could be different, the rest cannot be reduced significantly. $100,000 would get me out of all debt expect for this pot house we bought. 500,000 would get me out of all debt and replenish the 401k I had to drain when our basement decided one day it just didn't want to have a wall up any longer, after 90 fucking years. So. Much. Water. 5k would get me caught up on all my bills, replace my barely working glasses, same for car battery and tires, get the meds I can't afford. Fuck it's depressing when your problems could be solved by an amount less than some people make in a couple of weeks. Child with leukemia. I would need about $1,600 per month for the next 2-1-2 two years just to pay for health insurance. $48,000 for that not including out of pocket costs. Factoring everything else in for us to live, close to $250,000. For 2-1-2 two two years, $15,000 for a much needed extra bathroom. Another $5,000 for all the little stuff wrong with the house that I can afford to fix right now. $90,000 to pay off the second mortgage. I can easily pay the first with my current job. So, about $110,000 tax free. $20,000 give or take to pay off most of my debt and get dental work done take care of your teeth. Dental world is not cheap. That's 90 of my problems. Another $30,000 would pay off my vehicle and bump that up to fixing 95 of my problems. This is definitely perspective. A mortgage is not a problem, assuming you're working and paying your bills. Food on the table. In that sense, no problems. If you're saying kick back and have zero worries, no mortgage, far above $1 million. $1 million that will clear all my immediate family debt and allow me to work without stress. That used to be a lot of money, but not so much anymore. Like most people, the sweet release of death will be my retirement. $250,000. 
Husband said it would take a check from his parents' estate of $100,000 for him to retire effective immediately. By nearly tripling that I figure that he won't have an out and we can get the fuck out this state. Just a few hundred for meds. My daughter and I are diabetic and need insulin. I was also diagnosed with a highly aggressive form of a lung disease, so I am not going to live much longer. I keep begging for help but... Nope. With my house and truck debt, about $200,000 and I could retire on my medical pension. But there are certainly people in worse positions than I am, even with being released from the military for medical problems. All my problems including the ones that annoy me that others have would be roughly $350,000 50k to handle my own shit then 300k to get my parents back in their home that burned down but if it's just my issues 50k. Most of my problems I don't feel like are solvable with money. But a couple of million would make it easier to work around them. I don't have many problems that could be solved with small amounts of money. $70,000 to pay off my student loans. I only have an undergrad degree yet have a $150,000 in loans. Have paid off $80,000 in 3 years but pinching pennies is exhausting. $10,000 to get some medical tests done in PT. About 35 k I'd get all my debts outside of my mortgage in order and would have the funds freed up to start hoarding cash for when I'm old and my youngest child possibly needs assisted living. About 350000 To buy a house outright, not have any repayments and a little left over to cover bills for a few years. All money earned from my job then could be spent however else I want.